TV, was, great drama, no handshake. <laughs> I mean, I tell you, it was like it was choreographed by somebody in Hollywood. Yeah, you know, you would think we could play better together in the sandbox, but uh, evidently we don't. But <clears> nevertheless, um, you know, look, I thought it was a great speech last night. I thought it was Reagan-esque. Um, the, the, the president hit on all the points that, I felt like he needed to hit on. I mean, he talked about the economy, this this economic boom that we're in, the middle class boom, the blue collar boom. Uh, this is a truly an example of a rising tide lifting all ships. I mean, we're seeing wages increasing for everyone. We're seeing jobs that we we haven't seen before. And not only that, one of the most interesting points that the president made last night, in my opinion, was the fact that of all the new jobs that have been created here in the last few years, over 70% of them have gone to women. Uh, and, you know, that's significant, very significant. So so we've got a, a lot economically to, to be proud of, but the president also touched on some other things. He he talked about the fact that we live in a safer world now, thanks to, to the terrorists that have been taken out, Baghdadi, and, and, and then um, the, the others that have been taken out that, that have made us a, a, a safer world, and that's very important. But he also talked about what we need to do, and he talked about infrastructure. He talked about prescription drug prices. All those things are bipartisan issues that we can work on together. There's no excuse for us not to get those done in a bipartisan fashion. Well, that's the question people ask watching it. You, know, you just watch the divisiveness up there in Washington, D.C., and the and the – that's one thing we didn't hear from the president. We didn't hear him reach out uh, and try to extend his hand across the aisle at all. So that's what he's getting criticized for, if there's any criticism of the speech. Most people were praising the speech this morning, talking about all the accomplishments. But your thoughts on that? You know, you saw the one side of the aisle, everybody's sitting there just staring, and the other side's up clapping. So it just looks like it's a totally divided country. It, it does, Bob. I, I have to admit um, it was quite apparent to me last night. I looked over a number of times, and – and just emotionless. Uh, the other side was just uh, showing no emotion whatsoever, sitting in their chairs, and and it was disappointing. And it, it you know, that's going to take a concerted effort by both sides to stop that. And we we've got to come together. Listen, Bob, I practiced pharmacy for over thirty years. Never did I go up to the counter and say, "Well, let me see, are you a Republican or a Democrat?" And that's the price is going to depend on that. It never depends on that. Uh, infrastructure, whether you ride on our roads or cross our bridges, it doesn't matter if you're a Republican or Democrat. You want them to be safe. You want them to be good. And it, it, those type of issues, we have to work together. I get it. I understand that we have our differences on other issues. Um, obviously, I, I feel very strongly about border security, the fact that we should be um, securing our borders. But I understand that, that there, there are people on the other side who don't feel necessarily that way. But And... and you know, and I, I don't get it, but I do understand it. But there are just so many things that we need to work on together, that, that, and, and we all have to make a concerted effort to do just that. You see anything getting done, buddy? You see, like I said, those issues like infrastructure, prescription drug costs, do you see those, you know, do you see the two sides getting together and getting something done on those issues? Well, I do. Um, I, I do see that happening. The president said last night, put me a bill dealing with prescription drug prices on my desk and I'll sign it. He's wanting to do that. That has been a top priority of his since day one. There's no question about it. And what frustrates me so much about prescription drug pricing, now, uh, H.R. 3, which was a Democratic bill, it, it started out as a Republican, or, excuse me, as a bipartisan bill, but then it turned into a Democratic bill when the Speaker added in price controls. Well, price controls will lead to stifling innovation. It, it's been estimated that it could be anywhere from 8 to 15 to upwards to 100 drugs that don't come to a market if we impose price controls. Well, the thing is is that we can do something about prescription drug prices without price controls. We don't have to take that risk. Regardless if it's 8, 15, or 100, even if it's just one drug that doesn't come to the market, that's one too many. That's why we have to... Make sure that we've got innovation, research and development that continues to go on. When it comes to infrastructure, there's no excuse. It's going to take a private-public partnership. We're not going to be able to afford in this country to invest $2 trillion of, of public money into it. We're going to have to have the private sector involved in it. No excuse why we can't get those things done. 
And if you just joining us, Congressman Buddy Carter on the phone with us, talking about the President's State of the Union address. I saw you in the gallery last night. Uh, how, what's it like being there? Well, I, I will tell you, I, I, I sit um, very close to where the First Lady is. Um, and of course, Rush Limbaugh was there last night. We had the uh, soldier who was reunited with um, with the family, with his family. What a great moment. We had the Tuskegee uh, Airman who was uh, promoted to a Brigadier General. Uh, it, it is just such an emotional time, and it's just surreal to, to really be a part of it. And so honored and, and privileged to, to get to be there. And after it's over, buddy, you know, I tell people, you know, they, all these politicians, they put on this show, but the word is afterwards they all hang out together and they're all friends and it's all a show. Is there any truth to that? Well, there is. <laughs> I mean, you know, um, we've got Media Row where we have, um, you know, all the cameras are, are are lined up and, of course, you got different opinions. Um, you wonder if we were at the same speech when you hear the Democrat review of it and you hear a Republican review of it. But we're all encouraging each other, you know, good job, good job. And uh, this morning, you know, in the gym and, I, I, you know, you don't know who's Republican or Democrat. It's just, um, it, it's Jim, it's Seth, it's it's Earl, it's, you know, it's the guys in the gym. All right. Well, it is election year, you're in election mode. So, uh, again, it's going to be here before you know it. So how's your campaign going? It's going well. We're, we're um, very happy with the way things are progressing and, you know, we got so much to be thankful for in the first congressional district. Things are going exceptionally well, and we want to continue that and continue the good work that that we've um, we've been doing. Okay. Well, again, we appreciate you being here. We got some more guests in the green room. Got some swimmers head to Georgia Tech for a state swim meet, so we got them next. But uh, we do appreciate you taking time on your busy schedule and calling us and uh, giving us your thoughts on last night's State of the Union address. Appreciate it very much. Well, thank you, Bob. And I'm going to be in the studio in a couple of weeks and looking forward to it. Oh, great. We'll look forward to having you in here so again. Okay, thank you. Thanks so much, buddy. Again, uh-huh. on the phone, Buddy Carter, you know, First District Congressman, again, giving us his thoughts on the State of the Union address. We've got state swimmers headed to Georgia Tech. They qualified during the season. We'll talk with them and their coach after this timeout. Since 1946, Murphy's Builder Supply has been serving the folks of Jessup, Wayne, and surrounding counties with quality products and knowledgeable service. Matter of fact, they feel they sell service first to make sure you get exactly what you need for your home improvement projects. And with each employee at Murphy's being there for 10 years or more, you know you're talking with someone with the experience to help you with building supplies, tools, paint, and all the things you need from a full-service hardware store. The best choice in home improvement is Murphy's Builder Supply, 156 Northeast Broad Street, Jessup. For the best car wash at the best price, then go to the new Nips Car Wash, located at 459 Highway 301 South, down from McDonald's in Jessup. Nips Car Wash features state-of-the-art IQ automatic car wash system. Every car or truck that enters the automatic IQ wash system is scanned to capture its unique vehicle profile to give you a great car wash every time. Nips Car Wash also features two self-service bays where you can choose from a variety of accessories such as foam brush, tire brush, bug off, wax, clear coat, and spot-free rinse with powerful blowers located in each bay to top off your car wash experience at an affordable price. For the best quality car wash around, go to the new Nips Car Wash located down from McDonald's on the left on Highway 301 South in Jessup. That's Nips Car Wash with a state-of-the-art IQ automatic wash system on Highway 301 South down from McDonald's in Jessup. And welcome back again. More of the World Famous Switch and Bob Show. We got several swimmers headed to Georgia Tech today for the state swim meet this weekend. Got the coach in. Coach, appreciate you coming in. Thank Turn you. over to you. Tell us who all is qualified and what all is going to take place in Atlanta. Excellent. Go ahead and introduce yourself for people who may not know who you are. Thank you. Uh, my name is Brian Pruitt, and I'm the head coach of the Wayne County High School swim team. Um, I've got Coach Dave Oliver with me. He does a lot of the training with our kids, and he works a lot with the USA Swim through Rec League. Um, we have five swimmers with us here today. We've got um, Robert Headley, Braxton Westbury, Benjamin Thomas. Uh, we got Andrew Garrido and Luke Hendricks. And again, Robert qualified individually in the 100 breast, Benjamin in the 50 free, and then the rest are on the relay teams, the men's 200 freestyle relay, men's 200 medley relay, men's 400 freestyle relay. So tell us who they'll be competing against. Uh, well, everybody in, across the, the state in five A is that state what it is? of Georgia? Yeah. So whenever 
whenever we start off tomorrow, they'll start at 7 a.m. with warm-ups in the morning. And then the prelims will start at 9 a.m. And they will compete uh, 1 through 5 a in, in all the events for everyone across the state of Georgia. And then um, 6 and 7 a, they'll go later off in the day. 7 a will go later in the day. Okay. Well, let's talk to the individual swimmers. Let's Absolutely. talk with uh, got Mr. Headley down there. Mm-hmm. Robert Headley, again, qualified both in the 100 breast, also in the 200 freestyle relay, men's 200 medley relay, men's four. So you're, you're in every event. Yes, Every sir. event yes, that sir. we're competing. Go ahead and bring that microphone. Tell us a little bit about yourself and who your parents are, what grade you're in, and what's your plans after high school. Well, I'm Robert Headley. Um, as you've just heard, my parents are Dr. Bill and Miss Carrie Headley. Um, I'm a senior at Wayne County High School, and I'm going to be taking a gap year this year to – get some experience in the work field and um, take some online college classes and just kind of figure out what I want to do and uh, see where that goes from there. So, How does it feel to be on every – I mean, there's three relay teams. You're on all three, plus you're qualified individually. So you, you're going to have a busy time in Atlanta. It, it feels great. Um, just like them, I went to state as a sophomore, and uh, now I'm – I was just on one relay then. And now I'm on all three, and – leading them and it's just an awesome experience to have um i mean i wouldn't trade anything for it it's just one of the most memorable things i think i'll do in my life in my high school career really well congratulations on a great year thank you good luck in atlanta thank you who's up next mr westbury We've got braxton westbury he's on several relay teams so braxton tell us a little about tell us who your parents are what grade you're in and your swimming experience so far um, my name is Braxton Westbury. My parents are Kelly and Brad Westbury. I'm a sophomore this year, and this is my first time on the swim team at the high school. Um, and like he said, I made it in two relays this time. Um, and like I said, this is my first time. So, I mean, so far it's been really, really cool and really fun to um, be with these guys and really just have a good time. And we train hard, but it's really, really fun to swim with these um, people. And we have two great coaches, so... So what do you think our chances are? Um, I don't really know. I mean, I know we've all five trained really hard this time. Um, I think we have a pretty good chance of coming in the top, but we'll just have to see. Okay, we'll have a safe trip and best of luck. Thank you. Up next, we've got Mr. I'm trying to think. Thomas, yeah, Mr. Benjamin Thomas. Mr. Benjamin Thomas qualified individually in 50 free, and it looks like he's on all the relay teams as well, So, or two of the three. Yes, sir. Doing, My name Benjamin? is Benjamin Thomas. I'm on all three relays um, and the 50 free. It's going to be fun. And who are your parents? Uh, my parents are Sabrina and Eddie Thomas. And what grade are you in? I'm in ninth grade. Ninth grade. So just a freshman. Yes, going sir. To state. So, yes, sir. Uh, Do you feel any pressure being – tell us about the relay team. How, the, how did the relay work? Are you in this um, first – off the uh, clock or how, how, how's it the up? In the 200 free relay, which is our first event. No. The second is our second relay. The 200 free is our second relay. I go la- second in that. So, uh, who's first? Robert. Robert. Robert Headley's going to swim first on that. So he'll start. You know, when they when the buzzer goes off, and after he goes, he touches the wall. I jump off the block and go. And then Luke Hendricks, he goes when I touch the wall. And then uh, Andrew Garrido brings it home for us. Okay. So what do you think our chances are? If they were, got a good I, shot. I think we're going to do good. I think we're going to move up in the rankings a lot and drop a lot of time. Okay, sounds good. Next up, Mr. Andrew Garrido. I'm just glad to know I've been pronouncing your name right all year long. You know, it's one of those names I said. Is that you know? So I have been pronouncing it right. How you doing, Andrew? I'm doing good. Again, you're on the relay teams, right? Yes, sir. I'm on one relay. And I just said you're going to be the one bringing it home. So how much pressure is that? Uh, A lot, really. (laughs) You have a good kick. Yes, sir. Uh, so what grade are you in? Tell us a little bit about yourself and who your parents are. I'm a senior. My parents are Michael Garrido and Crystal Garrido. And my plans are to join the Marine Corps after after high school. So uh, Looks like you got your ROTC uniform. Is that the ROTC? Yes, sir. I have something to do at school today. Uh, okay. it looks like. So how do you enjoy it? They just brought the ROTC program back. A lot of people are excited about that. How have you, have you, how have you enjoyed that experience? Oh, it's it's. Enjoy, I enjoyed it a really lot. It's taught me how to be a better leader in everything I do, especially swim. So. Right. Well, good. So you feel like we got a good chance? Yeah, yes, sir. So, again, you don't feel any pressure, though, being the person that's the last? I feel a lot of pressure. 
I mean, they're they're expecting you to bring it bring it home, right? Yes, sir. Okay, well, appreciate you being here. Yes, sir. Thank you. Did we get them all? Or did we got one more? No, we got one more. Let's see. It's going to be Luke Hendricks. Is that right? Yes, sir. Luke Hendricks. So tell us a little about yourself, Luke. Uh, well, my parents are Emily Hendricks and Lance Hendricks. I'm a sophomore at Wayne County High School. So, and where are you on the relay? I'm on all three relays. I know, but I mean, you're the second, third. Ah. Uh, you don't. I lead off on the medley relay. That's on the backstroke. And I'm third in both of the other ones. Mm-hmm. Look it up. Sounds good. So, again, you, it sounds like the team's pretty confident that you're going to go up there and do well. Yes, sir. I think we will. We got a good shot in at, le- at least two of them. And you all leaving today? Is that correct? We leave tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Okay. Well, again, Coach, uh, tell us about these swimmers. You know, like I said, everybody everybody talks about, you know, we don't have a facility. You know, they, they, they use somebody's pool. But the fact that we qualify five in the state uh, you know, just tells you how talented these swimmers really are. Yeah, well, you know, Braxton and Luke, uh, being some young guys, they've, they've really cut down their times in the last few weeks. Uh, Dave's done an amazing job uh, training them. And uh, Kristen Hewitt over at the high school, she helps out with the swim team. So, um, you know, we've got a lot of young talent. You heard from Ben, who's a freshman. And, you know, don't let his confidence fool you. He's, he's got a lot of pressure on him. Yeah, that that medley relay that, that we're going to swim, he's going to be the last leg of that, bringing it home with a um, with a freestyle. So um, that's, that's going to be tough on him. You know, Robert, uh, you know, he's going to be swimming – all the events uh he's he's got three relays and then his individual so uh but his conditioning is up they've trained really hard uh you can't say enough about robert and andrew being our two seniors they both serve as co-captains on the swim team and so uh having a talented young group of guys plus some really experienced uh great leaders as seniors it just makes for a winning combination there's there's a couple of relays we feel real confident about getting into the finals um, and and then we kind of just have to see where the where everything else you know plays out with other teams yeah. for everything else. Well, this is the combination the whole season, and these are the five that qualify for state. How many people involved in the swim team overall? How many swimmers do you have on the swim team? We have twelve swimmers on the roster. Uh, so there's three other three other guys the, that are on the team: um, Jack Trapnell, uh, Corey Foster, and Anthony Matters. And then we have a girls team. Uh, which, and I think you mentioned earlier, Adriana Martin, she'll be signing uh, mm-hmm. swimming scholarship this morning <coughs> this over morning. at Wayne County High School. Uh, going to Piedmont, which is starting mm-hmm. her first swim program ever. So That's right, and we're really excited for her. Uh, you know, outside of Adriana, our girls' swim team, a uh, lot of young talent there, so we're looking forward to uh, seeing what they can do in the future. Um, you know, they're, they're planning, a lot of our kids who are coming back are planning on swimming for Dave with USA Swim, you know, with the rec program here in Wayne County, and so I'm I'm really looking forward to just seeing them improve and, uh, you know, taking an even bigger group of boys and girls to state next year. And for those listening, school's in session. So what's the practice? Do you practice after school, before school, before and both? Or I mean, I've heard athletes get up early and do they swim before they go to school? Or how does that work? Uh, right. So in the past, we've uh, the swim team has swam twice a week over in Hinesville. Uh, due to a partnership that we've been able to, you know, go into with the Velosans over their facility that they use for USA and Rec Swim, uh, we've been able to switch our facilities over to them, and uh, so we're able to swim every day in the afternoons. And uh, Dave has a, a phenomenal training regiment for them, and uh, you know, he's he's really the scientist behind all the training that, that they undergo and, and the things that they do. So. Um, you know, being able to work with him and every single day, it's really made us so much better. Okay. And Dave, you're in the studios. Like I said, you run the rec program and you got these kids all through the season. So how do you feel they'll do up in Atlanta? Oh, I, I, I think they're going to do extremely well. We, uh, these guys, just the high school season swam 88 miles in training. And then this last week we've been tapering and making them go faster. So I, I fully expect some extremely fast times. So okay. they look, I mean, they look really good. Well, guys, we appreciate y'all coming in. We wish y'all the best of luck. I know you're dying to get back to school. We got, oh, one, more, yeah. we got one more guest in the green room for the show. So, but again, we do wish y'all the best. Y'all leaving tomorrow morning, is that what you said? Yes, yeah, tomorrow. And the competition uh, tomorrow afternoon. They so. got to get a little bit of school in tomorrow. But the competition starts on Friday. Friday. That's Friday. Right. It runs Friday and Saturday. How, how, where do they have to qualify to get a ribbon or a medal? I mean, they, they, who do they recognize in state? Top four, top five? How do they do that? So they'll, 
first they got to get through the prelims. Wow. They got to get to the finals. I think they take what the top thirty. Yeah, the top top thirty in each event qualify, and that's one A through five A, mm-hmm. and then they they actually break down the scoring like one and two, three and four, uh, you know, like that. So it, it it's kind of awkward. You could finish say tenth overall. And be number two in five A, so you really won't know until you swim. But I, I expect us to be um, our four hundred relay broke the cut by nine and a half seconds. Uh, they're what like thirty, right at right around thirtieth in the state right now overall. Set a new school record too. Well, yes. gives, and give us an idea of the facility. You know, is there a lot of room for spectators, or is it just a um, it it will be extremely tight. This is at Tech, which was built as the um, Olympic pool. Right. And it's extremely fast. Pools have a lot of variations, and the depth, the lane lines, the type of blocks, everything also increases, you know, makes you go faster. And the environment, just the excitement of it. Okay. So um, it, I think it'll be, it'll be a wonderful. It'll be extremely crowded. I can promise you that. that sounds great. I said, and we'll look forward to reporting Monday how the kids do. Guys, we wish you nothing but the best. Congrats on qualifying for state. And, Make Wayne County proud. Bring home some state titles. It'd be nice. There you go. Thank you, Bob. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, we'll take a break. Got one more guest in the green room. We'll be back after this timeout. Murphy's Builder Supply is where you need to go for all your home improvement projects and hardware needs. They've been serving folks in this area since 1946. Murphy's offers some products and services that you may not know about. They now sell ammunition, both bullets and shells. Murphy's also sells personalized tags for dog collars. They build customized screens for windows and doors. Murphy's can re-key locks, and of course they can make keys. They cut glass for windows, plus Murphy's has monthly door buster specials. Check their Facebook page to see what's on sale. Murphy's Builder Supply, 156 Northeast Broadway. Street, Jessup. For the best car wash at the best price, then go to the new Nips Car Wash located at 459 Highway 301 South down from McDonald's in Jessup. Nips Car Wash features state-of-the-art IQ automatic car wash system. Every car or truck that enters the automatic IQ wash system is scanned to capture its unique vehicle profile to give you a great car wash every time. Nips Car Wash also features two self-service bays where you can choose from a variety of accessories such as foam brush, tire brush, bug off, wax, clear coat, and spot-free rinse with powerful blowers located in each bay to top off your car wash experience at an affordable price. For the best quality car wash around, go to the new Nips Car Wash located down from McDonald's on the left on Highway 301 South in Jessup. That's Nips Car Wash with a state-of-the-art IQ automatic wash system on Highway 301 South down from McDonald's in Jessup. Welcome back. Final guest on today's World Famous Pitch It's been a busy day here. Had Buddy Carter talking about the State of the Union, had the state swimmers, headed to Georgia Tech, and now we got Molly Hall from City Hall in Jessup with the big event coming up Friday, I imagine, is what we're talking about, right? Yes. So it's called the First Fridays. They've got one every month. February, March, April, May, June. The first one is this Friday, February 7th, called Sweetheart Stroll. So tell us what a Sweetheart Stroll is all about. Yes, we are having a Sweetheart Stroll. Um, it is a early Valentine's Day. Um, you can come downtown and visit our participating merchants and sample sweets in all of the different downtown businesses. So you can stroll through downtown and enjoy sweets and shop for Valentine's Day. Um, bring your significant other or your kids or um, whoever you want, your friend, and, and enjoy all the delicious goodies. We've got... Um, about 14 different participating merchants that are participating in this and so they will have extended um, business hours these events are really great for um, for those people that don't normally get downtown because they're you know when by the time they get off the businesses are closed so these give the opportunity for people to come downtown um, and shop after hours and when you say downtown we're talking just cherry street or we're talking the um, whole there block? no there will be some um and i can list them uh 
Angels, the Hidden Room, of course, 21 and up. They will have something, um, a sweet treat. Bennett's Jewelry, Britches and Bows, Cafe Euro, and Sugar and Spice will also have something um, on display in Cafe Euro. David's Clothing, Florida Georgia Auction, Garden of Eaton, Jessup Insurance, Mary's Bouquet, Merle Norman, Mine and Yours, One Love Island and Soul Food, Pages Pound Cakes, and Prissy Hen Boutique. So they are spread out. We've got some on Megan Street. Um, Broad Street, Cherry Street, so there's a good, a good bit um, of area to walk because around. Because Bennett's has moved over there next to Darlene's, correct? Yes, Bennett's is in their new location at the corner of Macon and Walnut Street on that um, in that corner space of that plaza. So and there's no cost, right? There is no cost. It's free. Um, we want. We try to make these events um, free for the public just to get people downtown and enjoy. Um, so DDA has made contributions um, towards the towards the cost for the merchants. And um, we're just hoping everybody will come out and enjoy and shop. And this is, and so it's open five days, so they can shop as well. Like these, these yep. stores will be open, so they'll be open yep. for business as well. They'll be so open they for business. Um, so you can enjoy some sweets and enjoy some shopping as well. That's right. Sounds good. So again, this this Friday called First Fridays. How do you come up with the name First Fridays? Just the first Friday of the month. Is that um, it is the first Friday of the month, but it, it, First Fridays are um, a common thing among a lot of downtowns that a lot of downtowns do. So it wasn't um, our and, original idea. Okay. It's borrowed. <laughs> and looking ahead, March sixth, they've got a downtown mini golf event. Friday, April third, shop hop extravaganza where you shop and egg hunt through downtown. I guess that's in conjunction with Easter. Yep, yep. And then Friday, May 1st, is a downtown game night. Play a variety of board games and lawn games throughout downtown. So, yep. And Friday, June 5th, it says TBD, so that means to be determined. Yes, to be determined. We're still working out the details on that one. But we are planning to do one a month between um, now and June. Uh, we we try to – it's hard to compete with football season. And then um, summer, a lot of people are traveling. So um, we did one in December, and then we're doing one a month between now and June. So we'll have, um, I think, a total of like seven or eight throughout the year. So um, it's a good opportunity to come downtown if you don't normally get downtown to shop and, and visit our, our merchants and have a good time. Yep. How's the downtown area doing? Seems like all, you know, have any – Empty businesses, or is everything full? Um, our vacancy rate is actually um, very good for a downtown of our size. Um, the majority of spaces that are eligible to be leased out typically are leased out um, pretty quickly. So we have a few um, open spots. And there's just a plug. Um, on our website, we typically try to list a lot of the vacant um, locations, or there's also a spot where someone could contact us if they were interested in um, in locating a business downtown. I'm, I'm there to help facilitate any way I can. So, and If anybody needs to get a hold of you or if any business you know, wants to join up for this event, how do they get in touch with you? They can call me at City Hall, and that number is 427-1313. Um, or, you know, they can also reach out to me um, through Facebook or on our website. So It's easy to remember, too, Molly Hall at City Hall, right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> right. That is right. <laughs> anything else we need to know or anything um, else you want to talk about? Anything else coming up? No, I think that pretty much covers it. Um, you know, we are excited about these first Fridays. They are growing. We did four, one a quarter last year. And so um, the momentum is continuing to grow, and we hope everybody will come out and enjoy. And this is for all ages, right? Kids. It is adults, all ages. Teenagers. Yep. Anybody wants to come down and just enjoy some sweets and do some shopping and have a good time. That's right. And it's from five to eight. Yes. Well, there's, there's, none, nothing's going to be blocked off or anything, right? Nope. You know? We leave the streets open. Um, you know, they are... Uh, Cherry Street is walkable and crossable, even, you know, being open. And so we we don't want to prohibit people from being able to park and, and visit the businesses in the Strand. And, and so we um, we do leave the streets open for these events. Okay. Well, Molly, always good to see you. Well, I had one question. Okay, go so ahead. What we supposed to – are you working on a contest like the Scarecrows for – for, for the spring or summer is that is that still on the table or what's up with that um we ha we at this point have not um done anything for spring yet um we did the snowmen for christmas and we did scarecrows in the fall um it 
I don't, I think a lot of people don't realize the big time and money commitment that the yes. businesses make to make these. I mean, it is not easy. It is not mm-hmm. an easy feat. And so, um, we, we've talked about it a little bit, but we don't want to make it, um, where the business is Oh, they're doing that again. I don't right, want to spend right. that much time and yeah, money. Don't want to make it a burden. Um, right. right. We do not want to make it burdensome on the businesses. And so we have not at this point decided okay. to do anything in spring. Okay. Well, Molly, we always appreciate you coming in. We look forward to Friday's event. Thank you. Okay, it up. And I think that's going to wrap up today's Bitch and Bob show. Unless you got something else you want to say, no, John. we're done. Thank you very we're much. We're done. <laughs> World famous Butch and Bob show on WIFO brought to you by Murphy Builder Supply and Nips Car Wash. 832 here at the Big Dog WIFO. Let's get an update from Fox News Radio. He says our future is blazing bright. I'm Dave Anthony, Fox News. The state of our union is stronger than ever before. President.